Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another OSINT tool called TuFi. So TuFi is used to help generate custom word lists using terms that it finds on Twitter accounts. So why would you need a custom word list? Um, say you've been able to maybe gather some usernames for your target company. Uh, and when you try to crack the passwords, you're probably going to be using one of the quote standard word lists that are, are available all over the internet. And that would probably work most of the time, but there will be times when you aren't getting any results back using those lists. So you may need to create a list that is more tailored to that company or the person whose account you've got. So keep in mind that um, a lot of people will create passwords based on uh, something related to the company they work for, um, maybe personal things such as nicknames, favorite movies, uh, pet names, things like that. So going through their online postings, whether it's on Twitter or Facebook or some other social media site, you may start to see a pattern of words that they use and it could be one of those words or maybe some variation of it that they actually use for their password. And that's where TuFi comes in. Uh, it's going to take a look at that user's Twitter feed. It's going to scrape through the tweets of that person and then allow you to create a word list based on things that person has uh, put in their Twitter account. So I've got... Um, I just created this quick text document here. I've got the basic info, uh, the TuFi project page here. Here's the link for the GitHub page. Um, here's the link where you will go to sign up to get your Twitter API keys. And it's a pretty, it's a simple process and it's free. So you don't have to pay anything for this. And then once you get your API keys, this is the location of the config file that you'll have to change for TuFi. And it, it's a simple file. There's only a couple of entries in it, and both entries are related to, your, uh, to where you put your API keys. So once you get all of that set up, you should be ready to go to start using TuFi. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this screen and minimize this one. So to launch TuFi, uh, you can go up here to Applications, uh, Information Gathering, OSINT Analysis, and oops, come on, and then over to TuFi. And just like all the other tools, when you click it and open it that way, it's going to show you the list of options that are available for you to use for it. So we'll just run through these options quick. Um, this first option, the tac, -TAC config, uh, you should not have to specify that. It, I, I think it'll run without specifying the actual location of that file. But if you have any problems, you can use this tag or the switch to point it to the location of the tufi.yaml file. Uh, tac C is going to include the count of the words that come back. And I'll show you what that looks like when we uh, run a couple of searches on here. But it basically will take the words that it finds from the Twitter feeds and then out from each word, it shows the number of times that that word was found. So that, that comes in handy. Um, minimum word link, length. Uh, that will come in handy um, if you know the password policy for a company. Say the, you know that their minimum password length is going to be 10 characters or 8 characters. Then you can set this to return only words that meet that minimum uh, word length requirement, which can help narrow down so you, it may shrink your uh, word list down. Uh, the TAC T is where you can give it a file that contains search terms that you want, and each one needs to be on a line by itself. TAC uh, lowercase t let you put the search terms on the command line just uh, make sure you use a comma to separate them and there cannot be any spaces between the words if you put a space then TuFi thinks that it's going to be another parameter and then you'll get an error message back uh, TAC capital U is where you can give it a file that contains a list of usernames that you want to try for on Twitter 
Uh, again, uh, make sure that these are on a, a separate line by themselves. And then the uh, tack lowercase u is just the same thing as the search terms, only you're putting usernames here instead on the command line. This uh, tack v, the verbose flag, this does not actually do anything. Uh, the author of the tool, Robin Wood, uh, said that he just put this in here as kind of as a placeholder. It, uh, it should be made available for use in future releases of TUFI, but currently it doesn't do anything. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to actually using the tool. I'm not going to cover all of the switches in this tutorial. I, I think they're all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it is something that you can sit and play around with it and see the different kinds of results you'll get back. Um, let me let me do like I've done on the other ones. Just kind of move this up here and open a new terminal window. So the th the syntax is going to be two five, and for this one we're going to do the tax C to show the word count. We're going to do tax U and then specify a username and I'm just gonna do Star Wars now this is a Twitter account and one thing to note here you don't have to put the at sign in front of the username if you do two files automatically strips that off anyway when it does the search so there's no need to include it here so from here um, Actually, I want to go ahead and show you how to save the results. If you'll see here on the desktop, I created a folder called TUFI. And TUFI itself does not give you any kind of option to save your results. So what we're going to do is redirect the results just to a text file. So we're going to do um, root desktop. Uh, fi and I'm just going to call it Star Wars text and from there you just hit enter and it looks like it's finished so now if we go into our folder here and you'll see it's created this Star Wars text file so if we open that up And you can see these are all the words that it scraped from the, that Star Wars Twitter feed. And this number out here from each word shows the number of times that that word was included in the Twitter feed. You can see it just keeps going down from there. But this is basically it. Um, to create a word list, what you may want to do instead of running the tool with this taxi option just leave that off that way the results you get back will just be the words and then you could take that text file and plug it into a, a password cracking program like John and use this as your custom password list one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're running to file the API usage for Twitter has limits on it so you're limited to a certain number of queries that you can run every 15 minutes. If you exceed that amount of queries within that uh, particular window, then you'll have to wait for that window period to expire and the new one to start before you can perform another search. So just keep that in mind. If, you, um, if you're doing a search on something that maybe have a, a large Twitter feed and you're going to get a lot of results back, it's going to slow down your ability to be able to continuously use two five. You know, you run one search, you stop it, and when you want to turn around and run another one, if you've exceeded the query count, then you're going to have to you're going to have to wait. And I, I ran into this when I was kind of testing out and running through the program myself. It can be kind of a pain, but that's something that's on Twitter side. That's not something you can configure from two five. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, Tufi is another useful tool to keep in your toolkit. Um, and it does help you in being able to focus uh, on a custom word list for your particular target. And all the links that I had uh, that I'd shown you previously, I will put those in the description below. So check those out 
get your Twitter API keys set up and then uh, copy it into the 2.5 config file. And you should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and share it out with all of your friends. So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.